Thanks, Eden. Now, I heard from someone telling me that, Ranch, you're killing me with your fruits discoveries. There's too many. But I've heard from others that say, please keep them coming. So my latest discovery is right across the Bridge of Lions in St. Augustine, and I learned a lot about Peruvian flavors at Llama Restaurant. I try to do something different, uh, a little bit unique. Well, actually, a lot more unique. Most people are tired of wings and burgers and pizzas and, you know, Southern. Everybody's doing that, so it's like, why not doing something different? Walk into Llama Restaurant, and you don't have any choice but to notice the different vibe as they seek to offer something beyond great food. I try to be traditional Peruvian food, but present it in, into a very more appealing way, trying to just don't sell food, but sell an experience at the same time. I learned a lot about Peruvian flavors. Peruvian food is uh, by just melting pot of different cultures, from Spaniards to Incas, and Italians, Japanese, Chinese, Africans, everything. And it just explodes, explodes, and flavor explodes, and technique and tradition. So that's what I'm trying to bring to the restaurant. While going all in on traditional flavors, Marcel has gone a different direction when it comes to Llama's decor. Peruvian restaurants most of the time are very, they are gonna stereotype, stereotype. They always have the big Machu Picchu ruins picture somewhere, huge, and they have the bronze or copper plates all over the world, always. But we try to, you know, again, step out, and we try to do something a little bit different, quaint. Um, very, try to make it modern, but probably the colors of, like, the Andes Mountains. Oh, and what about that name? Well, llama is, let's, let's call it the national animal in Peru. It's very common. Uh, I, personally, I, I'm all, I always like llamas. They're just awesome. Ah, gotcha. Now, coming up on their one-year anniversary, Marcel and his group will have memories to last a lifetime. Once we open September 23rd last year, we opened for two weeks, and then we got hit by a hurricane. Everybody knows that. So we were flooded, two feet of water here, I lost everything. So we had to close for two weeks. Uh, I got help from family to be able to reopen. I reopened with $50 in the pocket and five items in the menu, and got back on my feet. And in that turnaround, he's maintained his focus. I know about selling food, but I'm so about selling no, experience and blow minds a little bit and see reactions of people and how they really enjoy it. Oh, you want to use my catchphrase? Let's see if the mind-blown descriptive fits. We have mimosas, we have a mimosa bar, because we only have beer and wine. This here is a flower bomb. It's elderflower syrup. It has Prosecco in an orchid trapped in a nice like a sphere and we spray it with rose water. We have a canopy here that's something we serve every night and it's different every, every day. This, uh, what we did today was a uh, rambutan fruit and luda fruit puree, something very exotic. Here we have anticuchos, which are beef hearts. They're marinated in panka pepper, char grilled, and it's served with a glass uh, jar that is that has smoke inside and the experience of that dish is that sensation when you're walking down the streets of Lima and the lady's cooking in the cart and the smoke hits you in the face, that's what they're trying to bring in the table. Ceviche is a not very common presentation of ceviche. This is an interpretation of my city of Lima. It's serving a half moon because Lima is hanging on a cliff on the Pacific Ocean. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. I had no idea there were so many cultural mixes in Peruvian fluid. I think a real road trip to Peru is definitely in order. So get out for date night or get over to Lama for their one year anniversary. Uh, it's going to be lit for sure. You can find out more information at RiverCityLiveTV.com. Just click on the Ask CNN RCL tab. Now don't go anywhere. We've got more River City Live right after this.